And you can look at your mic and see if it's anywhere related to your mouth. Sorry? Can you give me that? I think that's a closer relationship to my mouth. Well, I think it's not a close enough relationship yet. Okay. Can you pull it over? Very good. Right. Um, I mean, I think, crudely speaking, this is an issue of supply and demand. No, nope. let's have an answer to the question. What's well, well, affordable housing? Well, affordable housing is two things. It is, firstly, affordable housing to buy. The question is, what is the figure there? The, yes. average, the average wage in this area, uh, according to the statistics, is about eighteen thousand pounds a year. That's, the, that's what that's what the what that's, that's what the income, that's what the income statistics show. Um, and, and, and that, if that's an average, it means there's a lot of people living way below that. So when you see these affordable houses for sale and it says a flat for hundred thousand pounds, actually to most people that's way beyond. So can, can you tell us? People can afford. I'm sure that everyone could agree with that. But yeah, I'm sure they us, could. Can you tell us what affordable is, not what it isn't? I mean, it isn't a hundred thousand if you're on ten thousand. What is it? Well, of course, affordable is by definition what people can afford. So what you need to, what, I mean, well, I mean that's, that's an obvious point. What I'm saying is there are, there, are, there are two sorts of affordable housing. There's affordable housing to buy, and that mean that needs to be a lot less than a hundred thousand pounds because that is to many people in this area, especially in in, in Midlands, it's just being not affordable. But there also needs to be much more affordable housing to rent. And what we've seen is both categories, insufficient development, affordable housing to rent, a lot of that has gone through the right to buy, not much more is being built. Affordable housing to buy, much of it, there was a development in Inverness, for example, where the developer had been asked to produce 25% of their development as affordable housing, they were going at £170,000. Now that is not affordable remotely, it, it, by, by anyone's calculation. I think we need to be doing a, a lot more on this issue. I think we need to be a lot more radical about our policies. Right, we're well, excited now. There's radical a development, policy, well, yes, it? In, in, in the Highlands at the moment, developers who develop more than 10 houses are required to make 25% of their development affordable housing. Uh, there's a development in Aviemore going on now, and that's been increased to 50%, so half the houses. Yep, and so, as, as it's an election, yeah. Danny, is that something that's on your manifesto to and, do? It's certainly something that's on the Liberal Democrat Manifesto for the Highland Council to increase substantially the proportion in pressured areas like this one of houses, uh, of, of new affordable housing, and that's critically important. I support it very much, Rod. Right, can I just say. stop you there a second? If, if a lot of the money for housing is coming from the Scottish Executive to housing <coughs> associations, let's say, it kind of matters, does it not, that you have that commitment in your actual, you know, Scottish Holyrood election manifesto? It, it does matter, and there's a clear commitment there to increasing the resources going to affordable yeah, housing. But, but I, hear, I, I hear a number, you quoted it, it was 50%. Is that in your manifesto for Holyrood or not? The, the manifesto states that we would have a, an increased proportion in areas where there's real housing pressure, like mm, those dear. in the Highlands. I think, that's a very, I think that's a very clear commitment. Um, and, and, the, and the reason for that is simply because of the need. There are 10,000 people in the, Highlands, in the Highland area who are waiting for, on, on local mm. authority and housing association, waiting lists. Okay. There, are, there are young families in Aviemore who have been waiting for years and years to get on, to get on the housing can, list. Can I, can I just be an appalling old bag and say that if I hear that you put something in a local manifesto that says it's good news, we will make sure that you know we have a 50% target, and then I hear that at Hollywood you ain't got 50%, I smell a rat. You know, that's the kind of suspicious person well, you got behind the mic here. I, and I, I'm, back, I'm on my own, I can tell. Nobody else thinks that, do they? Suspicious and the person we're hearing most of so, from, so okay. far tonight. I so I think that perhaps we should give both the audience and the panel perhaps a chance to, to, to express themselves. Um, what I'm saying is that the, the, there are a number of aspects here. The planning system is critically important. The planning system is controlled by the local authority and then also in this area by the Cairngorms National Park. If, if the planning officials say to housing developers who are able to develop large numbers of houses for commercial sale at extremely high prices as a condition of getting your planning permission for that development. We are requiring you, as, as, through your own resources, through the resources that you're making out of these expensive houses that you're selling, to produce an additional proportion of affordable housing. I think that's a very clear and, and powerful thing which would help to, and as it already has in some areas, like the development I mentioned in Aviemore, to get more affordable okay. housing for local people. It's not just a question about Scottish executive resources, it's also a question but though those are very important, it's also a question about how you use the planning system. Right. Okay, Mary. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm delighted, Leslie, that you uh, realise that the Liberal Party have a Highland policy, they have an Edinburgh policy, and they have a London policy. And I think tonight we might be finding that there's an Abbey Moor policy. So whatever you want, there's a policy for that. But the question was about uh, overdevelopment. And there is an important point that hasn't been mentioned here. Apart from the fact that this is a very desirable place to live, 
Prior to this area being designated a national park, there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses uh, put forward. The developers got in uh, to Highland Council to get planning permission for <coughs> hundreds and hundreds of houses in most of the villages around here before it was designated a national park, probably because they felt they had more chance with Highland Council and there may be a risk to the national park. Um, the, the question was about um, consultation as well. Uh, the one thing that I've realised throughout the Highlands uh, that planning is a very, very emotive issue. And I do not think that there's a good relationship between Highland Council and local communities. They do undoubtedly ride roughshod over local communities. I was hoping that uh, Roy of the Ancient Woodlands would be here tonight, uh, Roy Turnbull, because he's done a wonderful job in bringing uh, to people's attention the very unique ancient woodlands that are around here, but Highland uh, Council pay little uh, attention to them. Okay, Mary, so Mary just so Danny doesn't think I'm only horrible to him, <laughs> what are the Tories going to do about it then? It's affordable housing, what are you going to do? Yes, well, uh, well I, I'm actually coming to that, and can I just say, it, it, it is an important point, Leslie, I'm not sure you're aware of it, <coughs> but the Cairngorm National Park, the authority, have actually suggested that only people living in the area should be allocated a house. Now, I don't know what the audience think right, about right. that, but many of the oh, people who oh, come back, oh, sorry, many of the older people who come back to this area lived here, were educated here, they've, they've gone overseas or down to England, pursued their professions, and want to come back and live in the area where they were born and brought up. I do not agree with that policy. Uh, I, I think it smacks of dictatorship. Okay. We are setting up an affordable housing trust. We would be giving more people uh, the option to rent to buy schemes, which have been very popular. And can I just say, uh, afford, the definition of affordable housing is something that you can afford to rent or buy on the average wage. Uh, in Inverness, I can tell you, on a wage of 21,000, you can uh, borrow 69, and you can buy nothing in Inverness, not even a one-bedroom flat okay. for 69. Mary, can I ask you, um, if you're setting up, towards setting up an affordable housing trust, why is that needed over and above all the housing associations and trusts that are already? Are they not affordable? Are they not kosher? Are they no use? But they're not doing the job that's required. Well, so we set another one up then, How, you know. Well, well this, this housing trust would be a, a combination of developers, uh, mainly developers, I haven't got the figures in front of me, um, but it would be mainly developers because the developers should have a commitment to first-time buyers. They should have a commitment to people in a local area or local Can I invite regions. anybody from the rest of the panel? the rest of the panel would like to put, I can think of some difficulties that might be with private developers being but, charged but the trust. But, but the other thing as well, them. Leslie, that we are in favour of the council housing stock transfer. The, the council housing is not well managed by Highland Council. There are many elderly people living in three-bedroomed houses. They can't move on and free that house up for a single person. It is poorly managed. There is enormous debt. It's the highest household debt in mainland Scotland. Uh, Conservatives are in favour of stock transfer. It would bring, it would write off the debt in Highland Council, and there was money there to build an additional. It was certainly over a thousand houses. So we would support the Labour Party on that issue. Right.